Hi, I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon, and this is a Team Tech Tour of probably the most versatile seven channel transmitter ever produced, the Spectrum DX7 Generation 2. The DX7 just didn't get a more rugged face, and now it's a completely new software package that simply blows away any other sport seven channel radio. We're going to take you for a tour of this awesome looking transmitter, but first, let me tell you of some of the highlights within the software package that makes this radio something special. To start with, this radio can store up to 250 model setups without the need for a memory card. But if you insist on more, the ability to store more model setups is ready to go with the use of an SD memory card, giving you virtually unlimited storage space. The face of the transmitter features a large backlit LCD screen for easy programming coupled with the Spectrum rolling scroll dial for fast menu selection. Top face switches are not two position switches, but rather they are now three position switches for triple rate selection or three position functions on the model. The radio has a high capacity 2000 milliamp lithium based battery to keep you flying all weekend long and it's an attractive down to earth transmitter with pro features built right on in. Let's take a look see at our DX7. Now for some of those highlights in the software. For the typical Acro mode, you get nine different wing types, settings for dual aileron servos, dual flap servos, dual elevator and dual rudder servo operation, and each are separately controllable. You get six tail types, three different flight modes, seven point throttle curves, eight free mixes, plus three preset mixing circuits and a dedicated flap to elevator mix, and much more. In the heli mode, you have these features, seven point throttle curve, pitch curve, and tail curves, gyro and governor control, seven swash plate styles to choose from, three flight modes, cyclic to throttle and swash plate timing modes, and eight free mixing circuits with curves. And now we have the sailplane mode, which has the most of the acro mode plus four wing types and three tail types, motor throttle switch assignment, dual aileron and V-tail differential, five flight modes plus separate camber system, and eight free mixes plus four preset mixing circuits with curves. This is one value pack radio. As you can see, the list is long and worthy of being an expert class radio. This list is only the highlights as the DX7 also has telemetry capability built in, Spectrum's patented model match technology, programmable voice alerts, wireless trainer link, timers, quad bearing gimbals, full switch and channel assignment capability, and the finest warranty in the industry. If what I have told you so far is, is interesting to you, then stay with me while we take our tour around the awesome new Spectrum DX7 Generation 2 radio. As mentioned before, the face of the DX7 is more business-like. The front LCD screen is large and easy to read, even in subdued light as it is a backlit screen. The famous Spectrum roll to scroll switch makes programming and option selection fast and easy. On the opposite side of the screen is the back and the clear command buttons to assist with programming. Moving upward, in the center is the power switch and the neck strap lug. All control stick trim buttons are electronic. And now we find the quad bearing mounted control stick gimbals. Each stick is adjustable in height and spring tension to suit any pilot preference. The stick tips are point serrated for a slip free grip to the pilot's fingers. You also have the ability to configure the control sticks for mode one, mode two, mode three, and mode four style flying. Moving to the upper face of the DX7, in the center is the LED monitor light that turns on when power is applied to the radio. We now find the front top face where we have switches C, D, F, and rotating knob R. The switches will allow dual rates and tri rates to be set up as well as providing non-proportional switch aircraft functions such as activating navigation lights, a sliding canopy function, or a bomb release. Each switch can be assigned to any channel function through the software. Knob R has been moved to the front face of the DX7 from what used to be the top corner. This is for quicker and easier access while flying. The rotating knob can be used for a variable flap function or any other variable aircraft function such as wheel brakes, spoilers, or other applications. 
We now go to the top of the transmitter and starting from the top left side, we find switches A, B, and I. Switch A is a two position switch traditionally used for the retractable landing gear operation. Switch B is a three position switch which can handle any number of functions requiring two or three steps. And switch I is the button used to perform binding chores as well as a trainer switch for wired or wireless student buddy box training. At the top center is the 2.4 GHz short antenna which is in a fixed position. We now move over to the top right shoulder of the DX7 where we find switches G and H. Switch G is a three position switch commonly used for flight mode changing. Switch H is a two position switch used for activating the launch flight mode on sailplanes as well as a single command action such as a bomb drop, air brake deployment or navigation lights. Along the sides of the DX7 casing is a non-slip rubberized grip surface for a sure hold of the radio while in flight. This extends to the back side of the case where you will find an ergonomically shaped finger grip on both sides. At the top of the back side is the carry handle and in the center of the case are two plug jacks. One is for the wired buddy box cable to attach to the DX7 and the other is a headphone jack for private listening of the voice notifications sent by the DX software. By the way, you really don't need that buddy box cable as the DX7 has a wireless buddy box system that ends the need to be tethered to your student by the cable and still allows full control to the instructor pilot and, and this is a Spectrum exclusive. Towards the bottom of the case is the battery hatch. In there resides a high capacity 2000 milliamp lithium based battery for long hours of continuous flying. What is not readily seen on the back is the access holes for adjusting the spring tension, the control sticks and gimbals. Inside the case, the user has the ability to configure the control gimbals to suit a Mode 1, Mode 2, Mode 3 and Mode 4 styles of flying. And it's not quite done yet as the bottom of the case is where we access the SD memory card which can be found here. Overall this is one feature packed 7 channel transmitter system from Spectrum, the DX7 Generation 2. With your purchase of the DX7 Generation 2 system you will also receive a Spectrum AR8000 8 channel radio receiver with remote receiver for signal diversity. You will also get an instruction manual and a global power supply with receptacle adapters to fit most any wall receptacle in the world. And on top of that, a neck strap. As we said, this is one feature packed radio. As you can see, the DX7 is feature packed and well appointed. You'll find it tough to outgrow this radio with the capabilities that the DX7 has for you. Note that the airware software on board can be updated and as an owner of a Spectrum radio, those updates are at no cost to you. You will have a modern radio system for many years to come. I hope you've enjoyed our short tour of the DX7 Generation 2 transmitter system. For more information and a hands-on look at the DX7, stop by your local hobby shop who features a Spectrum line of radios from Horizon Hobby. I'm Mike Lee with Team Horizon and this has been a Tech Tip Tour just for you. Thanks for watching.